Hello everyone, welcome to Simi channel. In this video, I will show you how to install manually mods in Stellaris version 3.11.2. But before that, please help me by liking and subscribe this video to improve the quality of this channel. Alright, let's get started. First thing first, you need to have mods you want to add. Paradox Launcher version 2 and also Stellaris. I already removed the mods I have, so you can see here I don't have any mods in the Paradox Launcher version 2. Now let's go we open file explorer and go to documents, Paradox Interactive and Stellaris. Here as you can see there is a lot of file but make sure you already have a DLC lot JSON and also launcher version 2.sq lite. If you didn't have, you can uh, reinstall launcher Paradox Interactive version 2 from the game. Now let's we make a folder called as mod and also another folder called as workshop like this. Now open workshop fo folder and we need to create another folder called as content like this and then open the content folder we need to make another folder again call it as 281990 like this now let's we open the folder also we open the mods we want to put for example more galaxy there is two file one is a folder and another file is extension mod or dot mod. In the workshop content, we must to put a folder mod. For example, I just move the folder to here. And for extension mod, we go to a mod folder here mod folder we move the extension mod in here that's it if you see in the launch paradox interactive you can see the mod already installed but this mod is still disabled in game so if you try to run the game you won't be able to use or see these mods I just want to show you for example I want to run the game Now you can see in game, my mods for Galaxy is not running and show up. I cannot uh, change to more than 100 galaxy, uh, stars. So that means my mod is not working. Alright everyone, so now we must to enable the mods from dlclot.json. You can open using notepad, but I am already have Visual Studio Code, so I just use Visual Studio Code. Now if you don't have any mods, first time will look like this. So what you need to do are inside array, you must to add quotation on the first and the last mod you want to add. This is for example, like this. Now inside quotation, you can add mod folder and then slash and mods you want to add this is for example this mod I want to add just copy everything and like this don't forget the extension or dot mod you must to put add to do not forget and if you have other mod you want to add, you just need to add comma like this, and you can add another quotation again until everything mods you want to add is done. On the first time, you will a little be confused to configure this, but if you have many mods experience, you will understand to use this. 
I have more tip if you a little confused to configure this just make the text like this this will make you more understand to add or delete what you want to use and also uh, you must to make uh, which one mods you want to load first and last because some mods need to load the first second or maybe last after others mod load up so you must to understand because if you making a mistake the game will not run or crash before you save the file just make sure you already uh, turn off or exit launch stellaris or stellaris games because you won't be able to save the script if the game still run or the launcher is still run please make sure all of them is off if you don't just save all right now in this you must do carefully because some of evil also with me when run the stellaris the mods i already enable is still not run or uh, show on the game this is because the launcher is automatic reset the LC load zone. So if you open again after you run Stellaris, everything script mods you already add have been reset or back to normal without any mods. It's really annoying, make me frustrated, but I already find the solution. To do that, just right click, show more options and properties. First thing you need to checklist read only in attributes and cl click apply. Now go to security, go to edit, here you can see here uh, there is edit button, you can click it. Now everything group or usernames change to deny only right, okay right, uh, alright everyone, so remember only right you choose to deny. So change to deny right from all group or usernames here. If you're done, just click OK and OK again. So that's it, it's done. So you system, you or the games won't be able to change the script until you open again. Okay, so all the mods you have enabled cannot reset or delete by Stellaris. Let's try to open Stellaris. And you will receive the notification like this launcher doesn't have right permission to do not care they didn't want to change they just only want reset or remove or back to normal again so that's just only make DLC load JSON is gone again really annoying right so do not care just click play Alright everyone, so we are in the game now. Uh, let's we create a new one. And now I can create more stars than 100. It means that the mod is working. And can uh, in this mod, what I'm using, I can uh, create more than 100 stars. So I think that's it. The mod is working, guys. If you have something problem, you or trouble, you can comment to my video or join my discord server i will help you as i can but if it's if it's work don't forget to like subscribe my channel help me to improve this channel so thank you guys see you on the next video bye bye